everyone, I'm Cassandra, and I'm here to give you a brief overview of some things you can expect when charging your Ford electric vehicle on the go. The first thing I want to talk to you about are the three levels of charging you'll encounter on your travels when using the Blue Oval Charge Network, which is the largest public charging network in North America. AC chargers, also known as level one and level two chargers, use a 120 volt and a 240 volt power supply, respectively. In public, you'll probably find level two chargers at places where you'll want to stay plugged in for an extended period, like workplace charging for a full workday or overnight stays at a hotel. DC fast chargers, which you may have heard referred to as level three chargers, are great for road trips because they add as much range as possible within a short amount of time. Just like how charging the battery in your cell phone and laptop slows down as it approaches 100%, the same applies to charging your EV battery. That's why we recommend only charging your EV to 80% with the DC fast chargers. This will help save you time and allow you to move to your next DC fast charger on your road trip more quickly. Speaking of speed, there are some factors that can impact your charging speed. One of those things is the weather. Extreme temperatures, either hot or cold, can impact how quickly your EV's battery is able to charge up. That's because all EVs have an optimal operating temperature. And that's also why your EV's battery has a thermal management system designed to keep the battery cool when the weather gets hot and warm when the weather gets cold. To help with this, select four EVs can automatically start to warm or cool the battery when you're about 20 miles away from your next DC fast charger. To do this, your vehicle will utilize any excess heating or cooling capacity not being used in the cabin, so it may be limited in extremely cold or hot conditions. One thing to note, to use this feature, you must select and navigate to a DC fast charger using your vehicle's navigation system. Another factor that can affect charging speeds is whether the charging station you are at has enough charge capacity when more than one vehicle is using the station. When using a charger that is servicing multiple vehicles, you may see the rate of power fluctuate. This is because the charging station has a finite power output and needs to divide the power up amongst all the vehicles currently using the station. And speaking of power, just because a charger is rated for a certain power output doesn't mean you'll necessarily see the amount of power going into your vehicle. This is because the power may be limited by the charger itself, the limits of the charging cable, or your vehicle's ability to accept power whichever limit is lower. That's it for this video. For more information about your Ford EV, visit Ford.com electric.